from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Hello, and thank you all for coming today. I'm Thea Austin, the Public Events Coordinator for the American Folklife Center. And on behalf of all of our staff, I'd like to thank you um, for coming to this fifth concert in the 2012 Homegrown Music of America concert series. Um, the Homegrown series was designed to feature the very best of traditional music and dance from around the nation. The Folklife Center works with the many talented and dedicated state folk arts coordinators across the country who help us select the most exciting performers from the, within their communities and bring them to Washington. This allows us to bring the most important and representative traditions that exist today in, in the country and bring them here for documentation in our permanent collections. Um, we also work collaboratively with the Millennium Stage at the Kennedy Center and these folks will be performing there tonight at six o'clock, so you can catch them a second time if you like. Today's performance will be recorded for the collections of the AFC archive, and um, the recording will also be a webcast on our, on our website. That way future generations can learn from it, and wherever you are in the world, you can, you can watch this concert. Um, so this would be a good time to turn off your cell phones so that your special salsa ringtone is not preserved forever. Um, today we have a very special concert of flat pick guitar and fiddle music from Kanawha County. Um, I've been coached on that pronunciation. Um, from West Virginia. I'd like to invite Gerald Milnes, the folk arts coordinator of the Augusta Heritage Center at Davis and Elkins College, to come out and tell you a little about today's three wonderful performers. So please welcome Jerry Milnes. Hello. Uh, as Thea said, uh, we have some musicians here from Kanawha County, and I got her to pronounce Kanawha. It's K-A-N-A-W-H-A, Kanawha, but it's pronounced Kanawha. And these uh, three musicians are born and raised in, in the Kanawha Valley. Um, I think sometimes we tend to put acoustic musicians into boxes and say that they're traditional Appalachian musicians, or they're blues musicians, or they're bluegrass musicians. Uh, but you're going to hear today that uh, from a generation that was exposed to lots of different kinds of music, unlike, say, the oldest generation of, of traditional musicians in West Virginia who were born before probably 1920 and really didn't have a um, have to make a choice about what kind of music they would play. It was either family or community that that they heard and emulated in their music. But the younger generation now, of course, has been exposed to all kinds of music. And uh, while these uh, three fellows are uh, great traditional musicians, uh, you're going to hear today that they take little side trips to, uh, to uh, different genres of music and play it their way. Um, Bobby Taylor. Uh, we'll be playing fiddle. Bobby is a fourth generation fiddler and a very traditional fiddler. Was uh, uh, mentored by Clark Kessinger um, and plays a very traditional repertoire and style. Uh, Robert Schaefer uh, grew up playing traditional music, but uh, as you'll hear, he, he wanders a bit at times. And uh, Robert, uh, Robin Kessinger will also be playing flat pick guitar. Robin uh, is, again, was very much influenced by his great uncle, uh, Clark Kessinger. But Robin also, when he hears something he likes, it shows up in his playing. So uh, while they're all three very traditional musicians, uh, they're all, all three also interested in things they hear that catch, get, get their attention and then uh, show up in their own music. So uh, we're going to hear a real mix of traditional fiddle tunes, flat pick guitar tunes. Uh, both Robin and Robert uh, Schaefer are national champion guitar, uh, flat pick guitar players. 
And uh, Bobby Taylor was the state champion fiddler in West Virginia. So I guess at this time, we're ready to hear some music. So if I can invite out Robin Kessinger, Robert Schaefer, and Bobby Taylor. Make them all. start out with a tune here that I learned from Clark Kessinger. I knew Clark uh, the last few years of his life, went to visit him, got to hear him play before he uh, had a stroke and could no longer play. And uh, Sally Johnson, or Sally Ann Johnson as we call it, is uh, we love our version of it. It's not uh, real slow like you hear a lot of versions of the tune. Clark played a very fast uh, Sally Johnson, and hopefully we'll, we won't get it too fast. We can. Robin. Huh? Well, we're going to 
here's the vocal still to do it now. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this is, uh, you got to help me out on this because I always tell people dyslexia with born was I. Uh, uh, this is Alabama Jubilee, and you have to help me out on this. The chorus is real easy. It's hail, hail, and that, that's... Explain that now. Well, that, it's, it's, not a, it's, not the, it's not that kind of hail. It's okay. H-A-I-L, okay. but that's the way they say that word at home when they get mad. Hail, hail, the gang's all here for the Alabama Jubilee. And we'll do that two times. Give everybody a chance to, to join in there. A little intro. Watch your step, watch your step One legged Joe dancing round on his toe He threw away his crutches hollering I let him go because it's hail, hail The gang's all here for the Alabama Jubilee Do that with me cause it's hail, hail The gang's all here for the Alabama Jubilee Hey Robert Watch your step, watch your step. One legged Joe dancing round on his toe. He threw away his crutches, hollering, I can't get up. Cause it's hey, hey, the gang's all here. For the Alabama Jubilee. You do it one more time. Cause it's hey, hey, the gang's all here. For the Alabama Jubilee. Give yourself a hand. Thank you. Your great entertainment, thank you. <laughs> Sweet bunch of daisies. This is, uh, I think Jerry mentioned uh, Clark Kessinger, who, who has influenced all of us. Robin's great uncle, and uh, I think Bobby's uh, mentor. Mentor. Yeah. And uh, Clark was known for playing a lot of fast, uh, fiery fiddle tunes, but, but he also loved to play waltzes and slow things as well. And this is one called Sweet Bunch of Daisies. And we hope you enjoy Alabama Fridays.
Bob. I teach a little bit uh, the old fiddle styles there for many years. I didn't get to teach hardly at all. I never thought that I would ever be able to maybe, uh, it was hard for me to figure out how to teach, but Kessinger stuff is not easy. And uh, Clark played a tune that uh, he called Redbird. And uh, we're going to play that for you now. And he did, uh, I do it a little different uh, to get the interest of young kids. Now, the thing is, it has a triple bow jump where you jump over three strings. If I don't tie my bow in a knot, we're going to try to play that. Uh, he did a, he, he never did a bow jump on this tune here, but it lends itself to it. Instead of playing the slow part that he did, I'll probably do all bow jumps. And I think uh, Robert and Robin are going to help me on this one as and, well. And what did he used to call that? Do you remember? He called it triple bowing. Triple bowing, yeah. Triple bowing, but I, but I called it, rather than triple bowing, triple bow jump, because it is a bow jump. <laughs> so I changed it from that. I got that bow about right. Not, not bounds at all.
start this one off, bro. Well, we can do that. All right. This is hey, you're auditioning for American Idol, huh? That's that's right. Uh, uh, we're getting ready to do another vocal. Okay. <laughs> Starter box. Uh, Let's go right into it. Okay. Sunny day, my sweetheart left me. Oh, she went away. Now she's gone, and I don't worry, cause I'm sitting on top of the world. She called me up, down from El Paso, said I miss you, Daddy. I miss you so. Now she's gone, and I don't worry, cause I'm sitting. On top of the world Don't you call me up It'll come back to me in a minute <laughs> Sorry about that The hand, yeah When we were coming over in the, the van earlier to do the sound check, uh, Jerry, our host here, found out who introduced us that way. He made a, a very interesting comment that I hadn't really thought about before. The, the van driver said, what kind of music do you guys play? And Jerry said, well, you would probably characterize it as bluegrass, but it's really old time. But what we really do is we kind of uh, get influences from different styles, from jazz. I'm a, I'm a big jazz fan, for example. Uh, Ragtime, classical, what have you. And the song we're going to play now, Robin and I got this uh, particular arrangement from a guitar player named Dan Crary, who's been a well known flat picker for years. And he took a Mozart piece and turned it into a bluegrass guitar piece. <laughs> Imagine that. So we're going to try to replicate what he did, at least in our own interpretation here. And uh, it's called, there's several names for it. I think we, we call it Turkish March. Uh, I think Rondo Alaturka is another one. And uh, I'm not going to go any further because I can't pronounce any, anything further than that. But Turkish March is what we um, refer to it. And we're going to give it a shot right here. Ready? One, two, one, two, three.
That was some great picking. Uh, now we'll move to a different uh, spectrum of sound. Blind Ed Haley was a fiddler in, born in West Virginia, made his home in Ashland, Kentucky. One of the great fiddlers, John Hartford, just studied the whole last 20 years of his life. A tune called Half Past Four that I'm getting ready to do uh, is an Ed Haley tune, and it was written by him more than likely. Uh, there's a little story that goes with it that I'll make very brief. Apparently, half past four, uh, they had lost a child that was born. And it, and it didn't live, the, the little child didn't. But the thing is, you can celebrate that the child got a tune, a very happy tune, which is kind of unique name for it being born. And I think that that is wonderful, that uh, we can celebrate the life there, but uh, it has its sad part too. But here's an Ed Haley tune called Half Past Four. <laughs> I think you got to sing again. I have to sing again. Oh, what's the next one? I think it's going to be moving on. You want to talk about this? Oh, well, it's a pretty serious song. I, you know what? Hank Snow came out with this back in the 50s, but Robin's going to do a little different take on it, I think. 
Yeah, well, I do this one for kids a lot, and uh, I guess that's what all these are out here today, and I'm a big kid, and I guess you're going to treat you like one, too. I always try to tell, ki I tell kids, I said, now, you're not allowed to laugh at this. It's a Homer and Jethro song. It's called Moving On. Go ahead, Robert. Give it a little kick off there for me. I don't know if I can do that or not. Well, Robert. all right. Well, I'll, all right, I'll do that. Mighty fine dilly fell into a barrel of turpentine. He's a moving on. He's a moving on. He hit the gate doing 88. He's a moving on. The old Tom Gap was feeling mighty mean. Dilly got his tail caught in a sewing machine. He's a moving on. He's a moving on. He ripped a stitch when he hit the ditch. He's a moving on. From the city and he picked up a little stride but kitty now he's moving on he's a moving on we held our nose while he buried his claws he's a moving on When he felt the juice, he's moving on. To that washing machine, he's a moving on. He's a moving on. He just couldn't straddle that dog on paddle. He's a moving on. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do another. Clark Kessinger piece where I, I got this off of Clark Kessinger. I don't play anything exactly like anybody because I was once told when I was learning to play, don't play that exactly like me. You'll never be as good as me because I can be, I'm the only one that can be as good as me. You got to be you. So I always tried to do a little something, just things to change them. But uh, here's one called Turkey in the Straw. <laughs>
Oh, here's the, this is going to be the jazz portion of the show. Um, like I said, we can listen to a lot of different kinds of music, and uh, flat pickers in general, or flat, maybe I should define what flat picking is. Flat picking is, is transferring fiddle tone to guitar using one of these. So people say, what is flat picking? And uh, that's pretty much what it is. Doc Watson is one of the, one of the guys that pioneered it and made it um, nationally known. Uh, but one thing that you're, you'll, you will find when you get around a group of flat pickers, most of them will listen to a little, a little bit of swing or jazz, and the primary suspect that they listen to is a guy named Django Reinhardt, who was from, uh, I think, France, and he played with, his fingers were, were as a result of a fire, he didn't use these, these two fingers much here, so he did most of his stuff like this. And he played <laughs> things with two fingers that most guys uh, can't play with, you know, ten. So this is a song of his called New Wise that Robin and I attempt to do. We've been practicing this in the hotel and dressing room, so hopefully it'll come out okay. No, no extra charge for mistakes. But anyhow, this is called New Wise. I think that means clouds. Is that, is that right, Robin? I, I guess. Just say yes. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, what's that guy's say, name? DJ, Django, yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah, Django. Django. That's what, what our friend Wayne, Wayne Henderson says. Down, some of you probably are familiar with Wayne. Wayne called him Django. So, <laughs> the D is silent, but it's, uh, except for Wayne. <laughs> New watch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one.
Bobby was talking about Uncle Clark and saying, you need to play your own stuff, Bobby. And uh, he, he encouraged all of us, the family, to listen to different people. And uh, one of his favorite artists was a classical banjo player, uh, Fred Van Epps. He learned a lot of stuff from him. And so in that way, he, he taught us different ways to play. And this one is a, it's a Celtic tune, and I happen to like it. And it's called uh, Cooley's Reel, Joe Cooley's Reel. Thank you. You ready well, to sing again, Robin? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to sing. Um, <laughs> speaking of, uh, like, as with Django, uh, one of the guitar players that influenced Robin and I both uh, a great deal was Doc Watson, who recently passed away. And this is one of his signature tunes um, that Robin's going to sing for you. And we're going to play this. We'll uh, play this for Doc. <laughs> play it for you, too. Are you ready? And we're ready. Slipping and a sliding with his new shoes on. Papa said, Willie, don't you rap no more. We downtown, fooling around. They took me to the jail. It's old me and it's old. I 
I wish I was over at my sweet Mary's house Sitting in that big armchair One arm around this old guitar And the other around my gal Way downtown, fooling around They took me to the jail It's old me and it's old mine Ain't no one to go my bail all that I have and a dollar is all that I crave I brought nothing into this old wicked world and I'll take nothing to my grave way down in town fooling around they took me to the jail it's old me and it's old Ed Haley uh, did a tune that's another tune here. Uh, by the way, Clark Kessinger, Kanawha Valley style music, Clark Kessinger always said that Ed Haley was the best fiddler he had ever heard. And, and that was one of his favorite, if not his favorite. I think Robin's probably heard him talk about Ed Haley. He said as he well. was the best fiddler in the world. That's what Clark told and, us. And uh, he played, he, he was a beautiful style fiddler. And the thing is, his recordings were so substandard that it's taken us years of technology to even clean them up to sometimes tell what he was doing. But here's a tune called Indian Ate the Wood Chuck. <laughs> well, they'll name tunes anything, you know? <laughs>
I think we got about time for about one more. Um, before we go any further, I'd like to thank these guys, these sound techs up here. Ab for doing absolutely. Such a great job. <laughs> great. They, they, yeah. 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 Very easy, very easy to work with, and they, they really know what they're doing. Uh, we've got some, uh, if you want to take some of this home, we've got some CDs down here. Uh, if you want to come see us after we after this next song, and uh, thank you so much for putting up with us. <laughs> Bill Cheatham? You Bill Cheatham. You Bill Cheatham. The last one was a retail, last one one later. Bill Cheatham? Yeah. Here's, here's an old fiddle tune called Bill Cheatham. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank the band. Robin Kessinger, Bobby Taylor, and Robert Schaefer. Would you like to hear another one? We'll do a tune here that is a uh, tune that I probably get the most requests for out of all the tunes that I do. And it's, it's a little bit of a trick tune and uh, Clark Kessinger, as I stated earlier, he, he had a stroke and could no longer play. His left hand would not work. But I wanted to learn the triple bow jump, as he called it, triple bowing. And uh, I was 16 years old, 16 year old do what they do, you know, and I thought, well, how hard can it be? But it's very hard to do, very hard to teach. And only a handful of people can do it in the nation three or four of my students and uh, but the thing is Clark taught me this before I mean after the stroke 
I, I thought, well, his right hand still works. So I thought, that's what I need. So he sat in a straight back chair, just like I'm sitting in here. And I did the noting around to the side there. And he did the bow jump. So here's one called Durang's. And, and we're going to play it uh, kind of spirited, hopefully. My right arm will work, and I don't tie this bow in a knot. So thanks again, Robin Kessinger, Bobby Taylor, and Robert Schaefer. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.